The parliamentary opposition in Jamaica insists the former JLP administration led by Prime Minister Bruce Golding should take some responsibility for the devastation that unfolded during the May 2010 joint police military operation in West Kingston. Opposition spokesman on national security Peter Bunting says several mishaps could have been prevented if the government had moved with haste to have then-fugitive Christopher Dudas Koch extradited to the U.S. Opposition spokesman on national security Peter Bunting did not mince words as he directed blame at the former JLP administration led by Prime Minister Bruce Golding for the carnage that took place during the May 2010 security forces operation into Tivoli Gardens. The operation was launched to capture then fugitive Christopher Dudas Koch who was wanted by the United States on drugs and firearm charges. However, when the dust was settled, over 70 civilians were killed, dozens injured and several damages to properties. Addressing Parliament on Tuesday as he made his contribution to the sectoral debate, Mr. Bunting says there have been several attempts to distort the truth. But he asserts that the West Kingston Commission of Inquiry report puts the facts on the table. Highlighting some of the findings of the report, Mr. Bunting noted that the commissioners concluded that it was very probable that Koch was tipped off about his pending extradition request to the U.S. The commissioners also ruled that the public broadcast by Prime Minister Golding that the security forces were moving into Tivoli Gardens to bring the situation under control was a clear hint of an imminent internal security operation and gave thugs aligned to coke time to fortify an attack against a joint police military operation the report also noted that mr. Golding's broadcast took away the element of surprise from the planned operation this is the Commission's report finding 3.56 in those circumstances we think that it was incumbent upon him and they're referring to mr. Golding as Prime Minister and Minister responsible for defense to have communicated with the heads of the security forces prior to his broadcast. Finding 3.57, we believe that such fortification of a residential community in a Commonwealth Caribbean state was unprecedented in the history of the region. According to Mr. Bunting, the JLP administration made severe blunders and must take political responsibility. He also knocked former Attorney General Dorothy Lightburn, who he says delayed in signing the authority to proceed with Koch's extradition. Ms. Lightburn was privy to all the necessary documents from August 26, 2009, but eventually signed on May 18, 2010. That is to have Coke arrested with a view to his answering the extradition charges in the magistrate's court. However, Mr. Speaker, the Attorney General did not sign the authority to proceed until 18th of May 2010, some nine months after the request was received. Again, had the Attorney General acted on the 26th of August, we could have avoided the conflagration. Mr. Bunting insinuated that the government erred in its judgment and sought to protect Coke while the lives of Tivoli Gardens residents and that of the security forces were at risk. He pointed to the Commission's report, which accepted evidence that gunmen from Tivoli Gardens and approximately 300 gunmen from across Jamaica were mobilized to prevent Coke's arrest. The video evidence that we saw left no doubt in our minds. that the special arming of criminal elements in Tivoli Gardens was no mere allegation. It was a fact of frightening proportions. Finding 5.21, the armory which Koch established was comprised of M16 and AK-47 rifles, handguns, grenades, at least 150 caliber grizzly sniper rifle and a large quantity of ammunition. These rifles were no 
ordinary firearms. Finding 5.32, the purposes of this armory were inter alia to repel attacks by the security forces to engage in arms and drug trafficking within Jamaica and to ensure that the presidential click slash shower posse was capable of engaging in and winning gunfights with other gangs. The opposition spokesman on national security says while the report concludes that there were extrajudicial killings at the hands of the security forces, which he says must be properly investigated and those guilty brought to justice. However, he says that finding should not overshadow the political leadership which created Tivoli Gardens, the mother of all garrisons. In the years since 2010, there has been a creeping revisionism in the accounts of what took place. These accounts seek to focus entirely on the security forces' excesses yeah. and minimize the responsibility of the political leadership that created this mother of all garrisons in the first place, which then incubated and nurtured the murderous shower posse over generations of leadership. Tivoli Gardens, ironically named after the amusement park in Copenhagen, was a social experiment that went wrong. That, that social experiment mutated into a garrison. Mr. Bunting says the opposition hopes the government will consider the Commission's 51 recommendations. The West Kingston Commission of Inquiry was chaired by Barbadian former Chief Judge Sir David Simmons.